This is attempt number three to do this damn video. All right, so, um, if, if you probably know who I am if you're looking at this, and if not, what's up? Um, I am in Brooklyn, New York. Everyone knows I'm a nomad. I did the AT Awards, you did the Pussy Over Pain video and all that shit, but um, I'm sure if, if you follow me at all, you know how big I am a personal development. And I just think it's really interesting that a lot of people think that the time to really do personal development, like really go hard, is whenever you are going through hard times. That's a method. I mean, yes, I think it's important to do that then, but I think what I have found in my experience is for me personally, when things are going really good, you want to slack off because you think you got it. You know, you think you just, you got it. And actually that's when a lot of shit can, can, can creep in when things are going really good. Because you started to use that external shit as validation and you started to use that as the basis and the foundation for your happiness. And I'm here to tell you that success and fame and money and all of that, or relationships, fuck that. Relationships, uh, these are shaky ground. To base your joy on and so um usually i would do this kind of thing on my reality show at www.patreon.com backslash sydney g usually i would only do this for them but spirit said to share this with everybody um you know we all have our shit with us and it's been a lot of good opportunities coming to me like new you know male attention new relationship opportunities you know new business opportunities with celebrities you know I've been meeting so many people, like, you know, people who know who I am and things like that, and it's really good. And I think now is the time to really address some of the fears that I have um, and some of the lies I tell myself every day that are just really not true. And I tell myself lies every single day. Lies, you know, good, it's, it's good lies, it's bad lies for me. A good lie is I'm a multimillionaire and I got 10 husbands. That's a beautiful lie to tell yourself because that is it that is because you start to believe your own lies and your own lies start to come to fruition so if you're telling yourself a good lie yes keep that up but bad lies are lies like you know uh i'm stuck in my current income you know money's not coming to me easily or every time you swipe your card uh you know you shouldn't do that you know you should find a way to not spend money because you don't want your account to be low well these are just things that i deal with actually um and so, you know, I've just been really, you know, identifying the lies that I'm telling that I'm telling myself and, and, and the good lies and the bad lies. And I definitely need more good lies because affirmations are good lies, okay, <laughs> that really are truths, okay? Well, what is a lie? Something that contradicts what's really going on. And it's all, and, 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 and so um, I feel like um, there's not enough money is a lie because for me, because, or for anybody, because if you still have enough money in your bank account to do the things that you that you need to do if your bills are being paid on time or even if they're not being paid on time the fact that you still have some access to money to say that there is none is a lie even if you don't have any you could be homeless to say that there's no money there's no way for you to get money is a lie because the truth is there's no such thing as poverty there's only wealth and you know to say that you know i don't have any love in my life is, is, is another lie that's not that's something that we don't need to be buying into because we are love right and I think for me um you know this year has definitely been a very good year because a lot of fame and recognition and success has come it's also been a very challenging year for me um it's just it's just been, but it, but I'm on the other I'm on the other side of it and I think that I, what I've been missing is getting really deep into myself and and, and, and what the lies are what the truths are and all that good shit so I wrote down a bunch of lies, right, that I tell myself. I wrote down a bunch of them so, so that I can identify them. And actually, Lisa Nichols is somebody that um, I just watched one of her videos, and she, you know, reminded me of something that I needed to do. And I've done this before, and it's very effective. And so, you know, once you identify the lies, I turn the, and, I, and I, I can really flip them and get into what the truth is, okay? And those truths become my affirmations that I wrote down here. So I'm just kind of sharing this with y'all because like I don't give a fuck who you are. We all have our shit with us and for me sometimes I feel like if I have shit with me or if I'm not perfect or vibrating right all the time then I, I can't get the things that I want and that's complete bullshit. You know the universe doesn't work like that. The universe ain't petty. It ain't like if you have one negative thought then all of a sudden you know everything you want ain't gonna happen. Like that's some bullshit. I've been manifesting things at an exponential rate. Even when it comes down to me watching a video of somebody then i meet this person in person celebrities and shit I'm watching the video then i meet them or man I, I i see a fucking food dish 
online and next thing I know somebody offered to buy me that. It's been really crazy and it's been, I've been loving this fast speed. So for me, um, I can be a bit of a, um, of a perfectionist to a detrimental level. Like expecting perfection for myself, like expecting like really unrealistic um, changes within myself. Like expecting like instant gratification from myself. Like expecting me to identify something and oh, I never feel fear again. Like I really have to get into my new relationship with fear because fear is always going to be there. But you know, I'm learning to address fear as if I would address a little kid who's saying some shit that ain't true. Like if a little kid come up and say, the sky is purple, you just kind of laugh it off and go on about your business. So I want to kind of do that with fear and the least energy that you give fear, the, the least time it's going to spend in your life. So anyway, I wrote down all of my, all of the things that were lies and I turned them into affirmations. And so I just want to share those with y'all. I just feel the need to share it. And um, it's just very important that I stay happy and that I'm into this relationship with myself and I'm still on this journey of manifesting my twin flame. I've been on this journey consciously, like really, really, really for the past year now. And at one point I was very, I mean, I've cried on my reality show. I've like shed real tears, cried for like 30 minutes earlier in this month about the pain and the embarrassment of still being in a position of not having exactly the relationship that I want. Now I have boyfriends. Yes, I do. They're long distance, but I was too busy worrying about the lack and that caused me to be in a lot of pain and to feel very lonely when there's so much love and male attention and around me. Um, so I think a simple switch in your perspective would do you a lot of good. And I know it does me a lot of good because if you look at what is, if you look at what is and you look at it through the eyes of source, it's so much to be happy and joyful about. But if you look at what is, you look at through it through the expected, through the, through the, through the eyes of uh, the lower energies or some would say the devil, the devil ain't nothing but negative energy. If you look at it through that, then you can find all kind of shit to be fucking distraught about oh my god like i mean and i've done that i definitely found myself being extremely negative for no fucking reason i mean i'm a fucking nomad do you understand how wonderful my life is right now the fact that i moved out of the fucking in my condo in in uh in in, in may of 2017 uh and 17 and you know uh that was my last time paying any kind of rent that you know i have manifested beautiful people who have allowed me who given me keys to their fucking home right here keys to somebody's house who i haven't even known a month who i've talked to on the phone a few times people trust me enough into their home to allow me to do these things i mean god the love and support and the free things that i receive by you know oh my god the fact that my living expenses are less than a thousand dollars a month the the fact that I get so much male attention. The fact that men are literally drawn to me and they want to give me their all. The fact that, you know, I've created streams of revenue that have been coming in and I am literally wealthy. What is the definition of wealth? It is when your, when your passive income exceeds your monthly expenses. Expenses, I've been wealthy for a long time. That is the definition of wealth, especially now. And so when I look at that, I look at the fact that my grandparents are still living, that everyone who I hold dear is still alive. When I look at the fact that I can call my daddy and I can tell him I love him. When I look at the fact that I've had daddy issue conversations, I can actually call my father and talk to my daddy about it. I can actually call my mama and talk to my beautiful mother about it. When I look at the fact that I'm able to give back to these people in so many ways that, that they give to me. When I look at the fact that I'm in a position with total lip service to be able to help women make money. If I just look at my life, when I just look at it, it's so beautiful. When I add shit on to it, it gets rough. And that ain't, I ain't got time for that, you know. Um, so anyway, I identified all of the lies that I was telling myself that would literally cause a discord between me and Source. Really getting back into alignment with Source Energy. When I do that, I create the affirmations that ring true to my heart. And so I'll share those with y'all. Then I'll go because I don't really want this video to be too long. And I know my video is usually like an hour long, but this one going to be maybe 15 minutes. So my first affirmation is money is so abundant and unlimited. If you think of anything less than that, you cause that's a lie. Okay. If it's anything, if you, if anything that you're saying to yourself about money is opposite of this, it's a lie. 
Money is so abundant, it's everywhere. Prosperity is everywhere. You, when you walk down the street and you see these businesses, money is being circulated, like it's there and it's here for me. Um, Cause I went through a financial decline, I did. And that was so, I've been emotionally recovering from that for, for months. It is an emotional, it was so emotional for me. It's like, <gasps> it's a grieving process. And it's like, I gave too much energy and meaning to it. What happened was my fears caused the decline in income. Well, that happened. <laughs> it's meaningless, it happened. It doesn't mean anything about me. It doesn't mean I can't get it back. It doesn't mean the source is judging me. It just means that that's what happened. I've done my fucking work. I've cried. I, 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 I've been angry. I've done all that shit. And guess what? Now I'm on the, it was, it's, I'm on the upward thing and it's going to continue to be that. It doesn't mean I'm going to have to keep doing it. So money is unlimited and it is abundant. And every time, every time that I say these things, I feel so much better about it because that is what I know to be true. I know that that is true. It is not no shortage of money. It is, it's not none of that shit. Money is here for you. It's here for everybody. It's here for me. It's here for you. It's here for the homeless man on the street. It's here for everybody. It is just a matter of alignment and getting into that energy. Doing whatever the fuck you got to do. When you got to do it to get into that energy. Okay? That's the first half mission. I love swiping my car because there's so much money available to me now. I am abundant. Usually when I swipe my card... It is a fear. Oh shit. It's not gonna be enough. And I'd be, it's crazy because I'd be just got a direct deposit for something and still feel that fear. But you know what? That's just a habit. It's just an old habit that I got from childhood. And I'm just gonna, I know it's a lie. Now I'm really seeing that's a lie. You don't mean anything. I don't have to give you energy, I don't even have to fight. I just can ignore you and replace you with this. I love patronizing businesses. Every time I buy a, a cup of coffee, every time I buy anything, it is some entrepreneur's dream that I'm supporting. And that is an honor because I'm an entrepreneur. And I love it when people swipe their cards to buy any product that I have. And so I appreciate any entrepreneur because they had a dream and they went through it. So it is an honor for me to circulate money. And that also, every month, every 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 month, every dollar that I spend is circulated back to me in a never-ending cycle of increase in enjoyment. Yes, that is Reverend Ike. So I just love that. And I am abundant. I am abundance. I can do this. I can change and alter the way I think about something. I can do that. I can absolutely do that. I can. I can do that. And I'm doing it every single day. The man of my dreams is here with me now in the flesh. Sometimes I feel lonely. And sometimes I feel like... Yeah, 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 I know I have these dudes who really like me, but it's still not what I really, I mean, I get into all that, but fuck that. And I'm talking about the a soul twin flame connection. And he is here with me because I am him and he communicates to me all day long with different interactions. Anytime I see a couple being publicly affectionate, anytime I, my, my sister just got into a beautiful relationship. That's my twin flame communicating to me that he is here. And I have to, no matter how hard it seems, I have to ignore the parts of my reality that don't, that don't coincide with what I want to see. And I'm a Pisces, I'm great at it. Okay? Expected and unexpected money is flowing to me now. And it is. Opportunities have been coming up. Uh, you know, expected money with the reality show that I have. Every time I get a subscriber, that is evidence of my abundance. Every time somebody purchases something from Total Observe, every time, every time somebody buys a shirt from my fucking site, which a new shirt is coming out really soon, that is showing that anytime that, and a bu I mean, the unexpected money, I mean, oh my God, when people offer me places to stay, that is, that's abundance. And I appreciate that so much. I, I get comfortable nice places to stay kind people that's money and also like anytime i log on to phone sex it's money there you know total lip service is doing really well we have we are a six-figure company total lip service is and i get paid from that company and and i love it when just random money comes to me that i don't even expect and i'm welcoming and opening myself to it because i'm not stuck anywhere and neither are you Okay, my income is constantly increasing. I have been doing so well. I have been doing so well. Sometimes I'm very hard on myself. 
sometimes I get into well, I make your bank account ain't, 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 ain't this high yet, so whatever. It's just like that voice right there does not serve me. I don't want to. I don't want to believe my own that that shit anymore. That lower vibrational point that wants to judge myself for not being wherever I want to be. Fuck that. Okay. I'm a wonderful, important, loving person who deserves to prosper. That's very important. It's nothing that I have done nor can ever do that would grant, that would deem me unworthy of success and prosperity. Nothing. I don't give a fuck what I did or what I've done or what I'm doing. In every moment, I get a chance to clear my slate for myself. In every moment, I get a chance to wipe the... I think of my life as a dry erase board. I think of my future as a dry erase board. It's all white. And guess what, if I write, if I think about something that's created something I don't want, erase it. Write something new. Every moment I get a chance to do that. And the same thing with the past. Because the past got all kind of shit on it, right? Like we use those dry erase markers all over the dry erase board. I'm erasing it. It doesn't matter. It's empty and meaningless. And so it's the future. It's empty and meaningless. There's so much good things about everything being empty and meaningless. The past is empty and meaningless and the, and the future is just empty. Which means I can place whatever the fuck I want there. I could say I want a goddamn cat. Get a cat, don't like that, give it away, erase that, change my mind, and do it like that. I am a wonderful, kind, loving, beautiful, caring, inspirational person. I deserve the best of everything. I absolutely do. I deserve the best the best relationships, the best fucking business associates, the best food, the best drinks, the best pocket spaces, the best friends, the best family, the best dick, the best orgasms, the best fucking hair products. I deserve the best of everything. The best Uber driver. I deserve the best of everything because I am a fucking wonderful, giving person. I do so much for people. Every I'm doing something for somebody right now. I'm a beautiful person. I'm a wonderful person. I give so much. I'm a wonderful daughter. I'm a wonderful sister. I'm a wonderful friend. I'm a wonderful business partner. I'm a wonderful human being. I'm wonderful. So that means that I deserve wonderful shit. Period. Thoughts become things. I am what I say I am. I have to remember that because if you remember that, then you're never stuck. Because sometimes I, even with all of the reading I've done, I still feel like I'm stuck somewhere. Like I'm stuck in this income bracket. I'm stuck at six figures a year. I'm not stuck at six figures a year. If I think millions, I get millions. And my work is to keep myself focused and to really fight against the negative pull that sometimes I feel. It's an ooh, it's a bitch, but it is definitely something that we can all do because every single person oh, okay. because every single these self made millionaires they all yeah, I don't know what no, 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 it's not a cat, it's that. It's just stop blowing now. Um, where was that affirmation? I forgot what it was. Since I am whatever I say I am, I'm never stuck. I have to remind myself of this. This is never gonna stop. I don't care if I'm a fucking billionaire with the men of my dreams. I have to do this every day. Nobody is exempt from needing to remind themselves of the truth because sometimes you get into the false fallacies and you believe it's true and that's detrimental to something negative i'm happily humble so much shit i don't know about everything there's so much things about being being happy that i don't know there's so many things about money that i don't know there's so many things about building and creating wealth that i don't know so much stuff about business that i don't know i know it's a lot of things i don't know and i'm happy in that and i'm willing to listen and learn because i'll never reach a point where i know everything and that is a very lovely thing to know. I don't know it all on any level. I'm the most in the most loving relationship of my life, and I am. My life is empty and meaningless. I talked about that already. Sydney, I am proud of you for continuing to never give up on myself, even when I've been my most my most negative, and when I've been crying, and when I've been feeling so lost. I I, I still never get up on myself, give up on myself. I still go over there and I still reach for a book. I still play an audio. I still journal. I still try to say an affirmation even when I'm crying because I can't even get it out. I still do that. 
Um, it is just really, I've never given it for myself. I never have. I never have. Even when manifestation seems slower than usual, I've never said, up, oh, Sydney, nothing we can do. Because if I really believed that there was nothing I could do to improve my life, I would not reach for a book. I would not listen to an audio. I would not do anything. The fact that you're still even attempting to attempt to feel better, you have not given up. And I'm proud of myself for that. I'm proud of myself for my ambition, my dreams, my goals. I went to a fucking event with celebrities and I networked my motherfucking ass off. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of my natural networking abilities. I'm proud of my, of, of, of the way, of, of, of the kind of house guest that I am. I'm proud of the type of friend that I am. I'm proud of the way my pussy smells. I'm proud of the way I look with no makeup. I'm proud of my hair. I'm proud of myself for accomplishing, for building total lip service. I'm proud of myself for doing no ATL orgy. I'm proud of myself for doing the pussy over pain video. I'm proud of myself for the way I handle the scrutiny of the media. I really don't be giving a fuck, really. It's just annoying when... The, it's just certain things are annoying, but honestly, I handle fame well. I'm proud of myself for that. I'm proud of myself for being here right now. I'm proud of myself for saying I wanted to live around the world, and I did it. Every time I wake up in a different place, I realize that I've done something that I said I was going to do, and that's praiseworthy. Sydney, I forgive you for... I forgive you for being afraid. I forgive you for sometimes needing extra work on certain areas of, of your life I, I forgive you for any error that you've made I forgive you for any anything that you've done to forgive to, to feel bad I mean I forgive you for being human because sometimes I feel like that's something I shouldn't be I feel like I should be you know I forget that I'm a god having a human experience I think I need to be this perfect no I forgive you for that Sydney, and I love you so much for that Sydney, my commitment to you is joy. I commit to your happiness. I commit to doing whatever I need to do to alter any beliefs. I commit to you to keep positive and lovely things coming into your subconscious mind. I commit that I will make your dreams come true. I commit to you to get that total liberation and novel we published this year. I commit to you to get that these business ideas up and going. I commit that you're gonna get 5,000 subscribers. I mean, I keep that 5,000 Patreon subscribers. I commit to you that you're gonna have a reality show. I commit to you that your bank account is gonna grow every single day. I commit to you that you're gonna set up past streams of income. I commit to you that you're gonna attract, that you're attracting that beautiful relationship. And I commit to you great sex and affection and love and positive self-talk because I love you that much. Sydney G, I am forever willing to fight for you. I love you and I put your joy first. My love for you is unconditional. I am creating the best life for you now. Sydney Green, I adore you. Sydney, I am head over heels in love with you. You do not have to be perfect to win in all areas of your life. And those, that's my, those are my truths. I put truth on this. And I'm going to give myself a hug. You work so hard. You do so much. You are a wonderful person. I love you so much. Sorry, it's hard on you at times. <sighs> You're doing so well. I'm so proud of you. You're doing so well. I love y'all.